Hello, Miles Maeda here with more Modern Yoga Movement videos for you. In this series, we are going to be focusing on meditation. Meditation is an important part of one's spiritual development. So if you look at Patanjali's Yoga Sutras, he lays out the path to yoga, and it's called the Eight Limbs, and you can think of them as steps on a ladder. So you do the first one, that leads you to the second one, and you go up the ladder and eventually make your way to experiencing the state of yoga. The seventh rung on this ladder is meditation. And the third rung on the ladder is asana. So you begin by working with the physical body. After asana is pranayama, so you begin working with the breath. And then you work your way towards the mind. So what is meditation? Meditation is often thought of as something we do. But in reality, meditation is something that happens. It's something that we experience. So concentration is something we do. Meditation is something that happens. What we're doing in this series is looking at how we can concentrate. And we're going to look at three things the body, the breath, and the mind, and then let go of concentrating so that we can allow meditation to happen. The first step in this series is focusing on the body. It can help when we first start meditating to use some props for support. It's very common that uh, people might not be comfortable sitting on the floor for long periods of time. So it's easier if we can use something that helps us elevate our pelvis off of the floor. So if you have a blanket or a bolster, that can be good to sit on. Now I'm sitting on a bolster, so my pelvis is maybe three or four inches off of the floor, but my knees are on the floor. And this is very helpful because what we want is our pelvis to be neutral. So if we can imagine the pelvis is a bowl of water, we don't want to tilt the pelvis backward, po posteriorly spill out water, or for it to be overly tilted forward and have the water spill out in the front, so an anterior tilt. We want to have a neutral pelvis. But for some people, if you're sitting on the floor, your knees get quite high up off of the floor and that causes problems with the positioning of our pelvis. So to remedy that, we want the knees lower than the hips. So if you just sit on something, it could even be a yoga block, then it can help us have a more neutral position of the pelvis. The knees are lower than the hips. And then we look at the legs. There are a few options. You can sit in a easy pose, and this is when the feet are under the knees. This is usually accessible for most people, but the issue here is that it does raise the knees up, so you would want to still have your hips a little higher than the knees. Another option is to do a lotus position, and you can do a half lotus, which is bringing one foot on top, or you can do a full lotus, which is bringing both legs on top, and this helps us to keep the knees lower than the hips. What this also does is it helps us to build energy in the body. It's commonly thought that when the feet are touching the ground, then energy will go down out the legs and feet into the ground. So in lotus position, we're turning the soles of the feet upward, and this helps to recirculate the energy, and it helps us to build energy, which ultimately is one of the purposes of doing a spiritual practice, is to build prana in the body. Now this posture is not as accessible to everyone, so you can also do what I prefer, which is sometimes called a tailor sit, and you have both feet on the floor with one leg or one foot in front of the other. This allows both of the knees to be on the floor, more or less symmetrically, uh, and you can decide which leg in front feels more comfortable for you. And just for the sake of balance, maybe sometimes you would sit with the right leg in front and sometimes the left leg in front. 
But for me, I find this is a very comfortable position. There are certainly other options. You could straddle a bolster, have your knees on the floor with your feet facing back like a rock pose or Vajrasana. And that is also a more comfortable pose for a lot of people, especially if they have issues with their knees. And finally, you can even meditate sitting in a chair. So here we just check that we're balanced between the left and right sides, as well as between the front and the back. And then we can focus on the second part, which is our spine. The spine, we want to feel a nice lift. And this is important because energy or prana is flowing up and down the spine. It's also flowing through Shushumna Nadi. This is the main energy channel in the body. And it's in front of the spine. It's a subtle channel where energy flows from the Dantian area. So this is behind the pubic bone. And it flows all the way up through and out the crown of the head. We want this channel to be open so that the energy can flow freely. So we don't want to bend the spine. Ideally, it feels lifted. It's a little confusing when we say sit with a straight spine because the spine really isn't straight. We do want to be aware of the natural curves of the spine and do feel like the bones, the vertebrae of the spine are stacked and support our posture. The third thing that we'll focus on is the chest and the shoulders. Here we want the shoulders to feel relaxed and you can roll them back and down gently and this helps to open the chest. When the chest is open, it helps us to cultivate alertness. And if you just think about when we're tired, we hunch forward with the shoulders, the chest collapses. It's very easy for our energy to decrease in this posture. So if we sit up, open the chest, bring space and relaxation to the upper body, that helps us foster alertness. The fourth part is working with the neck and the head. So the common instruction is that we tuck our chin back slightly and down slightly. Now what that does is it positions our head so that the back of the neck is long and we, fee we can feel a lift at the back of the skull. It's a very common position for people's heads to jut forward. And if you look from the side, the head and the body in a way separate, there's a, a big angle right at the neck. So we're trying to correct that so the angle is more vertical. This helps to quiet and still the mind. And the final part is the arms and the hands. There are many different positions you can place your hands when we're practicing meditation. So we can do common mudras like Gyan Mudra, where the thumb and the index finger are connected. We can also place the hands in the lap, one on top of the other with the thumbs touching. You can also place the thumbs at the base of the ring fingers. So there's different ways that you can sit. But the benefit of having the hands in this position, especially with it clasped and in our lap, is we are cultivating bliss. What that means is as we practice, we are generating energy. And we want to be able to receive and allow that energy to nourish and help enrich our practice. So when we feel the hands and the arms in this position, we can receive the benefit of the practice. So all of this requires concentration. We are bringing our awareness, our attention to the posture of the body. And this really is the first step to meditation. You arrive at your practice seat, you're sitting down and adjusting yourself so that you can sit for a longer period of time and more comfortably. Ultimately, this helps us to feel that the bones are supporting our posture and we can relax and open and experience meditation. So if you'd like, you can just do a short practice right now, just going through these five points of the legs and pelvis, the spine, the shoulders and chest, the 
chin, the head, the neck, and then also the arms and the hands. And then once you feel all of these are in place, you can just close your eyes and just allow yourself to experience what this posture produces and you don't need to do anything else. And you can do this for five or 10 minutes as a beginning starting time. And then when you're ready to proceed, in the next video, we will talk about working with the breath. That completes this first portion of meditation.